Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about automatic private IP addressing, APIPA or sometimes known as APIPA. So this is specific IP addressing and let's uh, to demonstrate or to understand this thing. Let's say we have some computers and we want to connect that computer with some, maybe some other computer or maybe we have some networking devices here, maybe we have the router here and we want to get connected with those. And for that, these nodes or these computers needs to have an IP address there and we can assign IP addresses to this computer by ourselves. This is known as a static IP address. So we assign is statically some IP address and they can also have some DHCP servers, so dynamic host configuration. They can also have DHCP server and then they can request for an IP server from that DHCP server and then DHCP server can give them an IP address. So in this way they can get an IP address and then they, they can actually get connected with some other computer on the network. Well, let's say that we are not going to assign any IP address statically. So the network administrator is not going to assign a static IP address to these computers. And let's say if there is no DHCP server as well. If there is no DHCP server or there can be some problem with the DHCP server that a client is not able to get any IP address. So in that case, what happens these nodes can assign to themselves an automatically generated IP address. So they generate an IP address, a random number, a random IP address, and then the, by using that automatically generated IP address, they can actually communicate with each other. So now that IP address is known as automatic private IP addressing or app specifically in Windows machines. And now this address will only be valid within a local network. It means the routers will not forward it because they need to be within the same segment, within the same network. So this is a reason, actually, this is basically a link local address. So this is actually the link local address, this app paper. Now with this, the nodes can communicate and uh, this range, the address range, which they can select for themselves using app paper is from like from 192, sorry, 169 to 254 0.0 to 169.254.255.255.255. So within this range, they can randomly select any IP address for themselves. But some of, let me clean it, but First and the last 256 IP addresses are not used here. So out of this range, only first and last these 256 addresses are not used. And then once they have selected a random address within this reserved IP address range, which is this one, once they have selected any random IP address range, so that can be anything. For example, this, this may select the same IP address. This can also select the same IP address. So in this case, to avoid any kind of conflict, they use ARPR address resolution protocols by which they ask other nodes that do you use this IP address? So in this way, they can actually resolve. They can avoid any duplication of IP address using address resolution protocols. So this is specific uh, uh, automatic private IP addressing. This was bit introduction and let's see the same thing in Cisco Packet Tracer.